Don't you want right. to do business with people like you, right? You want right. people that appreciate that, that think that's cool, that because that's going to make your job just that much more enjoyable. And who are they going to refer people like them, which means right. you get to deal with more people like who you wanted to deal with. That's when you start enjoying your job that much more. That's that so cool and so spot on. What's interesting about it too is I've I've noticed that um, even just by doing simple stuff like that, by doing shoots like that, or we're doing a little bit of creative spin in terms of all the marketing towards um, our listings is that when you're having fun doing those items that carries over into everything else, your personal life, your office culture, um, your partnerships within the office, um, your clients feel the enthusiasm. So once you start really living the way that you want to live in terms of your business plan, it really unfolds. And, and that's, that has really been a breakthrough for me, truthfully, yeah. in the last month, where I'm just like, you know, and the, the, the follow through on it's really, really neat, because the, there is a whole bunch of steam that just comes with that. Right. Yeah. I, I can't even, I can't even imagine how excited you are about all of this. Cause I know this was all stuff that you wanted to put in place and you're getting the chance to do it. I think that's, I think that's so killer. And so, yeah. and, and the other, the other thing is it slows down that, that fear that you were talking about too, right? Eliminate that fear, eliminate the worry about doing it and just say, you know what, this is who I am. This is who I, who I think I need to be. And, and I hope that's, what's going to, I hope that's, what's going to work for you. So one of the things that uh, that you and I have talked about a couple of times in the past, and it's I think it's probably important to bring up, uh, probably important to bring up now is who you're advertising needs to be who shows up to though, right? So you have yeah. to be not just authentic to yourself. You know, pick the parts of you that you really want to put on display, but make sure it's the parts of you that is consistently you, not just who you want to. And I think a lot of people make that mistake in branding. They're like, I want everybody to see me this way, and so they throw that out there. And then that's not what ends up showing up at the front door. And, and so that's when, the worst thing. Yep. I get and, so tired and, of seeing that on uh, social media. It, it just, maybe it drives me crazy, but it also drives home the people who are truly authentic because it's like, you know, wear your heart on your sleeve, but the people yep. who fake it and just try to do that, you know, everyone can see through it. Like you can see it on there. You're not, yep. you know, you're not fooling anybody. Completely. I saw something on Facebook the, the other day. Somebody was bragging about something standing in front of a car that wasn't their car. And if it was their car, it is not the car that should be in the, I mean, just, I'm like, really? I saw the same thing. I, I saw like, a realtor that I know, and she's got a really big following in the area. And uh, she's taking photos out back of this property, this waterfront property that A, she didn't sell. B, she has nothing to do with, and she was just there just because, but she decided to take a, a real estate photo shoot and then in that take credit for it. I'm like, oh, well, you know, that is kind of silly. And, and people know there's enough yeah. people in the community that know that didn't happen and somebody's going to speak up and all that's going to do is expose her, right? She's afraid right. to stand in the, in the yard of her own listings that she sold. You follow me? Right. You right. can't be afraid of that. You got to whatever it is that you stand for, you got to get up there and, and stand for it.